Well, she told me it was Sarah, but... Said her name was Sarah? And what was her screen name? Right there. Is that right? Bush sex girl? That sounds right. You looking for something in particular? Or? Just anything. Oh. Yeah, not too much in there. Okay. How did you first meet her online? Yahoo. Hmm? Yahoo. Yahoo? Yahoo. Like in a chat oh, chat yeah. line? You work for the University of Finley? Yes, sir. Okay. When did you meet her? I've never met her. When did you meet her in the chat room? Oh, well, when was the first time you started talking to her? Earlier today. Earlier today? Had you talked to her previously today? Before today? Yes. Yeah. Never seen her before in the chat rooms, never spoke to her before? No, I usually don't go to the chat rooms very often at all. Can I have your phone number? Home phone? My home phone? Mm -hmm. Why is that? So Just we can call you about your vehicle? Can you go what? So we can call you about your vehicle? I won't be there. <clears throat> well, you will be eventually. Oh. We need a home phone. 419-420-9000. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Do you know how old the person was that you're supposed to be coming to visit today? Didn't we already go over that? Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta ask these questions like three or four times because they got questions on here, I gotta ask questions from there. No. Okay, so I'm asking you again. Well, no. How old was the female that you were supposed to come and meet? She never told me while we were online. Okay. At any time, did you know how old the female was? Post-entry? No. Or pre-entry? No. Okay. At any time, did you know how old the female was that was inside? No, not until I entered the house. And then she had indicated that she was training. Sister. I am speaking English, right? At yes. any time. Any time. Yeah. Do you know how old she is now? Well, so she, what, what she said it? behind the wall that she was six, or turning 16, 15. Okay. Did you ever view her profile? <coughs> Did you ever take a look at her profile? On the Yahoo profile? Yeah, on her Yahoo profile. Mm -hmm. Did it indicate on there what her age was? Did you look yes, at that? but that's kind of worthless. It really doesn't mean anything. Well, what did it say on there? I've never seen it. Her age? Yeah. It said she was 15. It said she was 15 on the profile. When did you notice that? A little bit before, I don't know, I mean, half hour before I came or, or left or whatever. Oh, so it was today? I mean, you didn't notice yeah, it today when was the first time I spoke with her. So you okay. knew that she was possibly 15 oh, before you left your house today, is that right? Okay. That really holds no credibility or weight when you sign up for those profiles. Anybody, you can put any false information. People say they're 130 on there. Mm -hmm. It really is irrelevant. But why would you come to somebody's house that is telling you that they're 15 years old? She didn't tell me that. When the profile I, told you that she was 15 years old. No, she didn't say that online. I'm just saying the profile said that. Okay, the profile on her Yahoo chat right, said she was 15. And as far as the integrity goes of that, it's meaningless. Because people say that they can be 130 or whatever. So it really doesn't mean anything. So if this girl said she was 6, you would have come out here too? Come on. No. Okay. It's kind of hard so, to have a conversation with a 6-year-old. Well, no, it's not. I mean, how, yeah. how old would have the... intellectual conversation. How old would have the uh, chat ID had have said she was before you would have come today with condoms? The profile? Uh-huh. Well, again, the profile is it, it, it has no bearing or weight. Mm -hmm. Because it really doesn't mean anything. But you, you established can whatever that you she want. was 15 years old, right? You assumed that, that she was, When I left? Did you have to assume that she was 15 years old if you didn't ask her any questions? I didn't have any idea how old she was when I left. You had an idea. You had an idea that she might be 15 years old. Possibly. She could have been 80, for all I know. Mm -hmm. But her chat line said 15. Her what? Her chat ID said 15, correct? What's a chat ID? No, her chat ID is Bush whatever. Her profile. Her profile? Her chat ID, however you want to speak, 
said yeah, her profile said that she's 15. Correct? Yes, it does say that. Okay. Well, you could go look for yourself. But again, it doesn't mean anything. So you're making sexual advances to this female whose profile says she's 15. What were you thinking? I never made any sexual advances to her. And you mean online? Have you ever received oral? Online? Yeah, that was just place her. If you would like, I'd love to take your hand and show you. I'm sorry, take your hand and show you. We don't have to read through all this, right? You already know that you made sexual advances towards no. a female online whose profile was 15. Is that correct? We talked. And then you just drove two and a half hours to see her. Is that correct? I just want to make sure I got this all right before I go on further. So I don't have to ask these questions again. You stated here, would you like me to in you? And that you said that also that you would keep it wrapped. And they also stated here, uh, somewhere along in the dialogue up here, um, you had believed that she was a virgin, and you had indicated that you would be honored to be considered the candidate for her first. She told you that she didn't want to get preggers. You said that you didn't want that either. You asked her if she's ever received oral. You told her that she's really missing out. If you would like, I'd love to take your hand and show you do what feels good, do what feels right, and stop where it doesn't. Do you have any phone conversations with this person? Hmm? Do you have any phone conversations with this person? No. Never? This person? Yes. No. Okay. Where's the computer located that you're using to communicate with this person today? Home. At home? Is it a laptop or is it a regular personal computer? It's a la laptop. <clears throat> What's your address? What? What is your bed? Four, 417. Mm -hmm. Nevada Lane. F-I-N-D-D-L-A-Y. Zip. Four five eight four zero. Oh. What year is your vehicle, sir? Two. Two thousand two. Sir. Ford Escape. What? It's a Ford Escape. Sir. I already advise you that your car is being impounded and the vehicle will be inventoried. Is there anything else in the vehicle that we're going to find? Are we going to find any type of toys, sexual toys? Children's toys. Children's toys. Any other condoms, alcohol, drugs, well, weapons? Well, drugs or alcohol. There was probably one other condom in there, but that's it. One other condom other than this? Well, one, one individual one, yeah. One individual condom? Probably some McDonald's food. A few books. Kids' books. What's your license plate number? Do you recall? No, I have no idea. At home, do you have any explicit pictures of uh, child pornography or anything like that on your computer? Nope. Never. Not my thing. Do 
you have any type of porn on your computer at all? Adult. Adult? Does your wife know where you're at right now? No. Where is she at right now? She's with my daughter on a camping trip in Lima. Your wife have a cell phone? Yes. Is there a way to contact her? What's your phone number? She probably has it turned off. Okay, what's your phone number? Um, well, yeah, 419-722-6255. Uh -huh. What's her name? What did Cheryl? Cheryl with an S. It would be all right if I contact her. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done this before? Have you ever traveled anywhere to see anybody? No. Never? You never met somebody online? This is the very first time that you've ever met somebody online and gone to their house to meet them, whether they were of age or not of age? No, I met a, a lady. <clears throat> Had dinner, no lunch with her. This was like a, that was about a year ago. And how old was she? Thirty-two at the time. Thirty-two at the time. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met any juveniles online? Never. Do you chat online with juveniles regularly? Never. I rarely chat. You rarely ever chat. Yeah. This is the first time that you ever got on your computer and chatted with a person that was underage, underage. and you drove two and a half hours to come to see her. Yeah. Tonight. I uh, have a friend. <coughs> Excuse have, me. I have a friend that she's 28 that we talk a lot. She lives down in southern Ohio, but we just talk. And other than that, I really don't chat much, in all honesty. Why did you choose Dark County choose what? to come here? Why did you choose to come to Dark County? That's the county here? Mm-hmm. Well. Why did you choose to come here? I mean, what what, what was it that... For the very first time in your life, you decided, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna take a chance, I'm going to go down here. Yeah, it was just random circumstance, I guess. I didn't choose to come down here, per se. I mean, just came to talk to her, Sarah, whatever her name it really is. But it really had nothing to do with Dark County, if you will. If, mm -hmm. if, is that what you're asking? Uh, yeah, I mean, was there any reason why you came here? Not at all. <coughs> I don't know. Why would that be? I don't know. I'm asking you. No, I've never been here in my life, actually. Did you tell anyone that you were coming here today? No. Nobody that you know, anybody, knows that you've come here today. Is that right? Like friends or family or whatever? Yeah. No. Friends, family, people that you know. Other than law enforcement and Dateline, nobody knows that <laughs> you're here. Sure. No, no one. Okay. Do you have all the personal information that you're going to need? Yes. Have you ever had sex with anybody under the age of 18? No. Me and my wife. What is your job at uh, the University of Finley? Data communications. Data communications? Are you a teacher? No. What's data communications? What, what do you do? I run the internet and the network and I manage six people, no, five people running the servers and stuff. Telephone, PBX, that type of stuff. Does that make sense? So you run the internet program through Finley University? Something like that. I mean, is that what your job title would be? What would your job title be? Network Systems Manager. Okay. It's my official title. I copied 22. Sir? Yes. Is there anything I can do? For? Clear. Anything. 
what I'm going to have him do is unhandcuff you. Uh, I'm going to read this form to you real quick. <clears throat> it's basically a permission to search your vehicle. Uh, obviously, we're going to go through it and impound it, but we're getting everybody to sign up permission to search if you agree, okay? Uh, the undersigned residing at your address, 417 Nevada Lane, Finley, Ohio, 45840, does voluntarily authorize dep Detective Haynes, which is myself, and other officers, which he may designate to assist him, to search my computer, which is located at your residence, uh, and my motor vehicle, namely 2002 Ford Escape, uh, bearing license plate number, which we don't know, from Ohio. And it's presently located at 5185 County Home Road, Greenville, Ohio, 45331, which is a sheriff's office. So I don't have a problem with you searching the car at all, but the computer. I don't have a problem with you searching the computer, but because of the fact of my position at my work, mm -hmm. you know, I've got a lot of security-sensitive information, which is pertinent to that job, you know, to my job. Mm -hmm. So because of that, um, you know... How do we go about handling that, keeping the maintaining the integrity of that stuff? Well, basically, I mean, what's going to happen is, of course, going to want to probably seize your computer to find out what type of pornographic material you have on there, reference kitty porn or anything like that. Obviously, you know, there's an issue like that, so we're going to check it, probably check your chat logs with, you know, against this stuff, but your computer's not here right now, so the court's going to probably... You know, try to have it seized, you know, through you. Through me. Right. Try to contact you, get it seized, because we're not going to drive up there and see the computer tonight. Oh, well, obviously. Okay. Well, I'm just concerned about that information for work at all, is all that's all. Right. We're not interested in what you do for work unless what you do for work is illegal, okay? Are you right or left handed? Me? Right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, oh. just, uh, what I want you to do, look, I'm sorry. I want you to read the statement aloud just to make sure you understand the right reference this form. Out loud? Yeah. I am given this written permission to these officers freely and voluntarily without any threats or promises having been made. And after having been informed by said officer that I have a right to refuse this search and or seizure. You're saying you can refuse to sign this piece of paper if you wish. Right. Okay. No, there's nothing of any significance on there. Okay. In there. Enough. Right this way, sir. Okay. Can you put your head right up here on this mat? On it? Yep. On it. Go ahead and pull your feet back towards me. And lean into the mat. Do you have anything on you that you know about? Anything that's going to hurt me? Do you have any drugs on you? Okay. okay. I need you to pull your feet back towards me oh, again. Spread right. them out. Okay. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to take your handcuffs off you. When I do, I need you to place your hands up on the wall. Okay, do you need anything else for us? No, you just have your cuffs back. And you're free to go. Thank you. See you in a little bit. I better not. Go ahead and take your coat off for me. Stand up and do that and just hand it to me. And then place your hands back up on the wall. Go ahead and spread your legs apart again.
You just have your watch on, and that's it. Okay. You just have a watch on. Okay. Can you turn? Take your watch off. Can you turn it? Any piercings or anything that you know about? What size shoes do you wear? What size shoes? Eight. Eight. Go ahead and take your shoes off and your socks, and I'm going to need to see the bottoms of your feet. Stephen, you want to grab some other loops and put them inside? Sure, we're fine. Yeah. Just pull them inside out and put them in your shoe. Okay? Okay. Yep. Go ahead and face the wall and pick up both feet one at a time. Let me see the bottom of it. Oh. That's fine. Okay. Put these sandals on. Six. Nine. I need you to look at me. Can you to look at me? Open your mouth. I need you to take your fingers and take your down lines for me. Up the top and then down the bottom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go down this hallway right here to this first door. Sorry, I have a second. Have a seat. We'll be with you in a few minutes, okay? Right when we get you back out, we got another one coming in. We're gonna pat him down, put him away, and get you out of here, okay? you look up at this my camera here okay I need you to face that door with your whole body in the opposite direction you have any tattoos one where's it at on your thigh that one on the thigh okay Spell your last name for me, please. R E R E F F N E R. And your first name? J. And that's your legal name, J A Y. And your middle name? The initial or name. The whole name. Wendell. Randall? Wendell. Wendell. Spell that for me. W E N D E L L. What's your mother's maiden name, first and last? Gersey is a Macau. Guernsey, in the first name? Her name? Carol. Mm -hmm. Carol. Your social security number? What year? 1975. 1975. What city were you born in? Herma Heights, Ohio. P-A-R. P-A-R. M-A. M-A. Heights. Findley, F-I-N. D-L. A-Y. How much is it for? Four five eight four zero. Do you have a phone there? Yes. What's the number? Thank you. Mm. What kind of car are you? 
Fred Ford is gay. What year is that? Oh, two. Is it Fred? Yeah. And I don't know the license plate. That's okay. Mr. Ruffner, I need a list of things that you came in with. In your clothing, you have a blue shirt and blue jeans. My underwear. My shoes. My coat. Ulcers, venereal diseases. No. You ever tested positive for AIDS, TB, or hepatitis? No. Do you have any heart or high blood pressure problems? No. Are you being treated for mental health problems? No. Have you ever tried to kill or harm yourself? No. Do you feel depressed or suicidal right now? No. Are you taking any kind of medication? Yes. What are you taking? Lexapro. My GP. What's his name? Oh, Greg Fox. Fox. Any other medical problems that we didn't discuss? Do you use alcohol? Well, rarely. You drink occasionally? Six, two, five, five. You live together? Yes, ma'am. For now. Ruffner, once we're done with this process, we will get you changed out and we'll fingerprint you. Once I'm done fingerprinting you, we'll allow you to use the phone. If you want to try to get a hold of a family member, a friend, contact an attorney, you have that option to do that, okay, once we're done with all this process. All right? Okay. So let you use the phone, and uh, you'll be in here for a couple hours, and we might transport you up to another facility. Um, and then once your court date comes, we'll come, get you, bring you back, have you in court. So I'm going to be here until court? Yes. I see. <clears throat> Set? Yeah. Which is Monday, I'm sorry, is that what he said? Coat your shoes. Sit back in that room where I took the picture of your leg there. It's changed out. Yeah. I'm gonna start with your right hand. Come over here. Just relax, okay? So let me do all the work. Don't press down, just have a relaxed hand. Okay, I need your left thumb. A lot better than what it used to be. You don't have to worry about the black ink. All four fingers together, just like that. There we go. What you do is just kind of turn your body and just really relax your hand, okay? Okay, 
ahead and turn your body. And do this one. about you, your description, your tattoos, everything about your arrest, and the paper that statement. If you would sign there for me. The next page is everything you came in with, all your property. I want you to look over that and make sure I got everything. The third page is your medical questions. It's front and back. It's all your answers that you told me. And you're signed into this statement. Yeah, that's that. This is that one. Box here. You need the signature of you. 